Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today we are going to be doing another try this, not that video. I did one of these on my channel a really long time ago, but it got a really, really great response from you guys. In that video, which I will link in the description box down below in case you guys want to watch it, I was talking about specific products that I was basically putting head to head, like try this hair mask, not that. Try this mascara, not that. Try this bronzer, not that. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of a different twist. Today, we're gonna be talking about five different brands that I'm basically gonna tell you guys, in my opinion, the best product of the brand and the not so great product. So within each brand, it's gonna be like a try this from the brand, not that. I hope you guys will understand what I'm saying as we dive into it, but let me just preface this by saying that I'm a big fan of all of these brands. I purchased everything I'm gonna talk about in today's video with my own money. Some of the not that products that I'm gonna talk about, I don't have anymore just because I either used them up or I gave them away because I really wasn't a fan of them. So in those specific cases, I'll pop up pictures, but of course I'm gonna give you guys a full description of why I love the products I love and why I didn't love the products that I didn't love. As always, in every video, some products might work for you and they might not work for me and vice versa. This is just one person's opinion. It's a very, very subjective opinion, but this is just one of those videos for those of you guys who like my recommendations and care to hear what I have to say on these products. Hopefully this video is entertaining. So let's dive right into the products. The first brand that we're gonna be talking about is Pistache Skincare. Pistache came on the scene because of their pistachio body butter. This was labeled as the boyfriend body butter, basically meaning it smells so good that every guy is gonna wanna be your boyfriend. I've tried a handful of things from the Pistache Skincare brand, but I have to say that my try this from the brand, if you wanna dive into it, is their pistachio body butter. This is, in my opinion, the best product from the brand. It's their cult favorite product. It's popular for a reason. Oh, it smells so, so good. It smells like pistachio caramel. Super, super luxe. It's one of those rich scents that doesn't smell cheap or like too candied or something. It doesn't smell too youthful. It's just, it's amazing. The texture of this body butter is beautiful. It sinks into the skin, but it really does moisturize. And even though you will literally be smelling like a snack, you will also get some amazing moisturizing benefits out of this body butter. So by far, this is my try this from the Pistache Skincare brand. My not that is this product right here, which is the Pistache Skincare Body Polish. This product, as you would expect, also smells like delicious pistachios. It has the exact same scent as the body butter, so I'm not knocking it for the scent. However, I prefer my body exfoliators to be be really, really scrubby. I like them to really be able to, you know, scrub off the dead skin all over my body. And I just felt like this product was not scrubby enough. It really just felt like a body balm, almost like a body cleansing oil with a few pistachio shell type things thrown in for a little bit of scrubbiness. But really that grit, I felt like didn't do much in terms of exfoliation. I don't know if you have really sensitive skin and you still wanna try some type of manual exfoliator, maybe you would be into this. But to be totally honest, for the price of it, I felt like it just didn't exfoliate the way I would want my body to feel after I slathered on this $30 body polish. You know, it just wasn't, it just wasn't it. The next brand we're gonna talk about, another brand I am obsessed with for my hair is Olaplex. I'm sure you guys have heard of Olaplex. It's kind of been the big trending thing and they seem to be putting out a lot of really cool, innovative products. The first thing I tried from Olaplex, which in my opinion is the Try This product, is their number three hair perfecter. This is the original Olaplex 
take home bonder for your hair. Olaplex is a patented formula that is actually supposed to rebond your hair strands. Like it's actually supposed to fix split ends and genuinely strengthen your hair from the inside out. So it's not like a temporary, you know, deep hair mask that makes your hair feel good for one day. And then after that, you know, the effects wear off. Olaplex is actually fixing your hair. And on Honestly, I have tried a lot of Olaplex products, especially all the ones that are, you know, coming out in Sephora. I just still feel like this is the one that's worth it. This is the one that I see the biggest change in my hair. On the flip side, the not that product from Olaplex is actually their newest launch. This is the Olaplex number no. seven bonding oil. I'm a big fan of hair oils. You guys probably know that. I love myself some Moroccan oil. I love myself some macadamia oil. I will put any hair oil in my hair. I love that stuff. So when Olaplex came out with the hair oil, you best bet that I threw that in my cart. There are a couple things I don't like about this. First off, not a fan of the packaging. You're not getting a ton of hair oil, which honestly with most Olaplex products, you're not getting a ton of product for the price in general. And then the top is just just this kind of pory spout thing where you have to just flip it into your hand and kind of shake it out. It's just not the most convenient way to dispense uh, oil in my opinion. Also, you guys might be able to see here, this is probably the thinnest oil I've ever seen. It just honestly looks more like water. Because of that, I feel like I have to use a decent amount of this to get any effect in my hair. And even then, I just feel like it doesn't do as good of a job as even just my Moroccan oil. And I'm sure this has, again, that patented Olaplex formula that actually is fixing your hair long term, but I just really don't see as much of a difference in this hair oil as I do when using the number three Bond Perfector. So definitely try this, not that. Let's chat about a couple of skincare brands. One of my all-time favorite skincare brands is Pharmacy. And if you've been around on my channel, you know my try this product. The Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. One of the best cleansing balms on the market. I've gone through tub after tub of this. Every time I can get it on sale, I stock up on a few more. You guys can see I've got just a little bit left right there, that little green patch. About one, maybe one and a half uses left, but this stuff is incredible. Take some in the palm of your hand, rub it in, and just start massaging it in. The balm turns immediately into an oil, and it just melts off all of your makeup. Waterproof mascara, long-wearing eyeliner, matte foundation, blush, bronzer, highlighter, everything just melts right off. And then you just take some water, rinse it off, and your face feels amazing. I absolutely love this. If you need a good makeup remover, this is one of the absolute best. Now my not that product from Pharmacy, I'm gonna pop up a picture right here. This is the Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. I don't hate this product. I did use it all up, that's why I don't have it physically here to show you. It claims to be ultra gentle, and to be totally honest, it foams up and suds up so intensely that I did feel like it was really, I hate to say stripping, my skin, but my skin definitely felt a little tight when I rinsed this off. It was just a very, very average cleanser. Definitely not meant to take makeup off. Yes, it washes your skin, but again, it didn't do anything miraculous at all. Especially when you use something so magical like this Green Clean and swear by this, and then you use that very average facial cleanser. I guess I felt just a little underwhelmed. I was just very underwhelmed. So definitely try the Green Clean Cleansing Balm, but I would say pass on the Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser. One of my other holy grail skincare brands, I'm sure we've all heard of it, is Drunk Elephant. My try this from Drunk Elephant, this is my absolute holy grail skincare product. This is the Drunk Elephant Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil. This is amazing. I know that you can get Marula oil at all different products price points, 
but I'm telling you there is something so special about this oil. It genuinely does miraculous things, at least for my skin. After I started using this, my hyperpigmentation was drastically reduced. I really haven't had any major breakouts since using this. My skin feels a lot more balanced, like the areas that sometimes felt dry don't really feel like that anymore. While I don't use this oil under makeup, this is a part of my nighttime skincare routine, and to be totally honest, I cannot go without it. I know it sounds so dramatic, but honestly guys, this has genuinely changed my skin. I think I've gone through three bottles of this. I think this is my fourth bottle, and I absolutely love it. Now my not that from Drunk Elephant. I hate to even mention this because I did mention this a while ago in the products not worth the hype video and I got a little bit of backlash. But again, remember, I'm not saying that this is a terrible product, but it genuinely didn't do anything to change my skin. And this is the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. I know this is like one of Drunk Elephant's top sellers. It's the thing that a lot of people fall in love with with the brand for. This baby facial is a combination of 25% AHA and 2% BHA. So it is basically a chemical exfoliator for your skin. It's a pretty intense chemical exfoliating mask. After you wash this mask off, it's basically supposed to make your skin look like a baby. I have never noticed that with my skin, unfortunately. When it goes on, I can feel the tingling. Like you can feel something is happening, but I've never been wowed when I washed this mask off my skin, not once. I know, controversial opinion, but again, in my opinion, try the Virgin Marula oil. This stuff is awesome. The baby facial, I mean, I know it works for a lot of people, but I, I'm not giving it my stamp of approval. Let's just put it like that. Okay, and then the final brand we're gonna talk about, a try this, not that, is Way Hair Care. Way is a brand that was started by a celebrity hairstylist, Jen Atkin, and I was very, very curious to try her brand. Since then, I've tried a handful of stuff, and my favorite thing from the brand that I think is actually a really unique brand product is the Way Memory Mist. This stuff is really, really cool. So what this is, is a multitasking priming spray is what it says. This acts as a heat protectant. It adds shine and long lasting memory to any look. So basically you spray this on your hair before you heat style it. I do it when I curl my hair. That way I don't have to add an additional heat protectant. And this basically acts as hairspray that you're using pre-styling. My hair isn't crunchy or crispy or anything weird. And this smells so dang good. This smells like gardenia to me. So if you guys like gardenia flower, you will really like this. And I love the way this makes my hair smell, feel, and I love the way it makes my hairstyle last. And then going along with that, my not that product from the Way brand is this. This is their Rose Hair and Body Oil. I think this was actually the first product I purchased from the brand and I wasn't a fan from the first time I used it. I bought it because it said Rose Hair and Body Oil and I'm obsessed with Rose scents. And this smells absolutely delicious. However, I wasn't a fan of the product at all. It's supposed to be a multitasking product. Obviously, you're supposed to be able to use this oil on your hair and body. In my opinion, it was too thin of an oil to use in your hair. It almost had the consistency of this Olaplex hair oil. Like it was super, super runny. So because of that, using it on my body, it almost left like a film on your skin, it wouldn't sink in. It wasn't moisturizing. It was almost just like literally rubbing Crisco on your skin and expecting it to kind of sink in and it just, it wasn't doing that. So not enough moisturization for a hair oil and too oily, greasy, weird texture to use on the body. So definitely try the Memory Mist, a very, very unique hair product, but I would skip the rose oil, not a fan. Alrighty guys, so there we have it. That was my second try this, not that video. Like I said, I'll link the first one in the 
the description box down below. And if you like this type of video, please don't forget to thumbs it up, just so I know if you guys actually want to keep seeing videos like this in the future. But other than that, thank you guys so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys in my next video very soon. I'll see you then. Bye.